Now, recently we woke up to the news that the NLC said that it would embark on a two-day nationwide warning strike from the 5th of September, which is today, to the 6th of September, which is tomorrow, over hardships faced by the masses due to the removal of fuel subsidies. And the reason seems noble enough. Nigerians have faced untold hardships due to the sudden and immediate removal of fuel subsidy without any strategic economic plans to prevent the people from witnessing the strife or, as some would say, the premium shege that we are currently facing. Now, we all know the musical chairs of the Nigerian strike economy, and we have already seen it once in this administration already. The NLC and TUC complain, the government ignores it, they propose a long and tedious strike action, the government does not budge, a warning strike is declared, the government calls for a meeting, brown envelopes may or may not exchange hands, a midnight agreement is reached, and the strike is called off. Rinse and repeat every time someone needs relevance, a cash injection, or both. So normally Nigerians would not be that bothered. We are used to accepting systemic corruption and institutionalized impunity. Not that I'm accusing organized labor and trade unions of any of these. It's just that Nigerians now see strike actions as, well, just merely public holidays. So the NLC called for a strike, and the federal government has reacted. It has appealed for a period of two weeks to finalize organize uh, labor demands. This appeal was made by the Federal Minister of Labor and Employment, Mr. Simon Lalong, while he was addressing newsmen at the end of a closed-door meeting he had with the Trade Union Congress um, yesterday in Abuja. Now, the minister also said the meeting was called to avert the proposed nationwide warning strike by the Nigeria Labor Congress. Do you see the first problem? The Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment called for a meeting after the federal government had earlier appealed the NLC to suspend the proposed two-day warning strike nationwide. But the NLC were upset at the meeting called by the minister. The NLC called for a strike, but the TUC attended the meeting. Now, I know they work hand in hand, and if they were both there, would understand the solidarity. But TUC went without NLC? What is really going on? Well, in all fairness, the TUC had released a communique where they said that the need to embark on a strike had not arisen, but that they would allow conversation with the government to address gray areas. And the minister has promised that the government is going to address those issues within a period of two weeks and come back for further discussion. To quote the minister, some of the issues we discussed that are very urgent there are very urgent. Uh, there are some that will require a long span of time. This was the basis of our discussion. And the TUC have agreed to this. According to Mr. Festor Sosifo, the president of TUC, and I'm quoting him now, we agreed that there should be no strike within the two-week period while we are doing our deliberations and working towards realizing some of these objectives. And he also added that uh, some of these issues requiring urgent attention included implementations of palliatives and wage awards. He then talked about tax exemptions and allowances to public uh, sector workers, modalities for the 70 billion naira, small and medium enterprises, and RTAN crisis. He complained that, with respect to the palliatives that were rolled out, that the TUC have not seen anything put in place for federal workers. Now, Comrade Osifo also said that the TUC leadership will continue to engage with the federal government to ensure that his demands are addressed. So what is the conspiracy? Well, there are two or so. Like, for starters, the TUC have called off a warning strike, which was called for by the NLC, and which may still hold disrupting activities in the country. On exactly the same day, the election tribunal is set to give a verdict. This would hamper movement, and is suspiciously coming at the same time the DSS said it had reports of people planning to use protests to cause mayhem. Nigerians are wondering, if this is not all just orchestrated and part of a grand plan to possibly subvert justice at the tribunal. Nigerians are also suggesting that by having a meeting with the TUC, the minister has absolved the government of any involvement with the NLC strike without meeting the NLC. The NLC could go and say it's working independently. Though Nigerians, you know, generally, if you look at social media and everywhere, Nigerians feel the strike action is coordinated from inside government. And this is leading to a lot of tension as verdict day approaches. Nigerians believe the government wants to hand out an unfavorable verdict and are putting things in place to ensure that there is no public backlash in the form of mass action or protest by the people. Now, are they right? Look, your guess is as good as mine. Me, I'm just a conspiracy theorist, and I'll leave it at that.